Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, May 29th, and pardon me for one minute while I check something. Okay. I apologize. I uh, This is the third time I'm making this video. It's been a technical difficulties morning, uh, but that's okay. The last time I, I don't have the computer in front of me. I've got it set up over there, and that's why I had to look over there. Normally, I can see what's happening right on the screen in front of me. Uh, today, I just have the little camera monitor uh, and the main monitor, which shows me whether I'm on that image at the beginning or if I'm recording myself, is over there. So I needed to make sure I was recording myself. It's May 29th. <laughs> it is a seemingly beautiful day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. I thought the same yesterday. However, uh, every time I stepped outside, it rained. Hopefully that'll be different today. So it's Memorial Day weekend. And I thought about this a lot this morning. I, I wanted to do a particular video that I, I don't think I can do. And I'll maybe talk about that a little bit more. But I wanna remind you all and I know you know this, but some people might not, that today is not National First Barbecue Weekend, National First Day at the Beach Weekend. Today is the day, well, not today, this weekend, tomorrow, in particular, Memorial Day. Memorial Day is the day we remember and honor members of the armed forces that died in battle. It's not a day to remember veterans. We love our veterans and we remember them on Veterans Day. It's not a day to remember active military. We love our active military. We remember them on Armed Forces Day. It's a day to remember the people that actually died fighting in wars. And there's a lot of them. Our history is so full of Americans that died in wars, both on American soil and on foreign soil. And by the way, I should have said it earlier, this video is going to be very U.S. centric. So if you're not interested in that, if you live outside of the U.S., I understand. And I, I'm not going to apologize because this is something important to me, but I'll see you next week. So this is a day we remember those folks that died for us, for our rights. And I want to make two points. And I, I tried to do this earlier and wasn't recording myself. But I realized it got too convoluted, so I'm glad that I wasn't recording myself. They went to war for a reason. And this is where I got bogged down. For example, with the American Revolutionary War, why did we go to war? Well, oh, independence from Britain, you know, the right to live free, the right to have a democratic form of government. No, those were all part of it. Those were all good things that came out of it. What was the trigger? What was the thing that really got us into war? Other folks out there, including folks in the YTPC, know this a lot more than I do. Uh, I'm not a historian. But my understanding is that the real trigger for the war was this concept of taxation without representation. We were being taxed as much, if not more, than a citizen of Britain, someone living in Britain. But we didn't have a vote. We didn't get to choose members of parliament. We didn't have representation in parliament. Uh, we, we were being taxed, but we did not have a voice in the government. And that's what really led us to fight for independence. And all the wonderful things that have come from that. So that's why people went to war and died. It's important to know that. It's important to know that because we're currently in a situation where we're, pardon my language here, crapping all over rights that many, many people fought and died for. Taxation without representation. Well, we're in a situation where approximately 1% of the population in the United States pays greater than 80% of the taxes. 
Yet, if you're in that 1%, you get one vote. And if you pay no taxes, you get one vote. There's something wrong there. There's something very wrong there. That's taxation without representation. What would happen if we multiplied the individual's vote by the number of dollars they pay in taxes? Wouldn't that be interesting? Be a very different world. In every election cycle, we hear it. You know, oh, the rich, the business owners, the the Wall Street billionaires. Um, we gotta we gotta take money from them, and then on the other side, well, we gotta think about the little man, the 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 the, the, the middle class, the lower class. We got we gotta help them. We gotta pump money into them. Take it from the rich and give it to the poor. We're Robin Hoods. Yeah, we're creating taxation without representation, the very thing that very many people died to, to get for us. The very thing that they fought against, I should have said. Ah, and it's, it's happening all over the board. You know, we're, we're just, we're rewriting history. We're losing our sense of why these people died. We're... And, and I'm, I'm talking about the Revolutionary War because it's convenient, but, you know, the same can be said of every war that the United States has, has been involved in, right up until the conflict in Afghanistan and the debacle that happened uh, a while back with the withdrawal. Um, so many people died there, and we just abandoned it and, and lost all the gains that we had made for those people. It's, it's a shame. And we don't, nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about it. And we've demonized the military. I've actually made videos in the past uh, thanking our troops. And I've gotten comments, not from members of the YTPC, thankfully, uh, saying things like, how dare you? Uh, what have they ever done for us? I blocked those people. I've got no interest in talking to people that think that way. You might not agree with the reason. You know, the Gulf War. Why did we go into to the Gulf War? Well, it's complicated. You know, and there are people that say, oh, it's just about oil. And there are people that say, well, it was to, you know, liberate the, um, the Iraqis from the, the, the Kurds, I believe it was, from the um, oppression that uh, Hussein's regime was put upon them, had put upon them. I'm talking about the original Gulf War, the 92, somewhere around there. I'm going to have to reload my pipe because uh, I made three videos on this pipe. So, yeah, the, the reasons are important because that's why these people die. You might not agree with the reasons. You know, look at what's going on right now in, in the Ukraine. Do you know what's going on in the Ukraine? I can't figure it out. I've tried. I've tried really hard. Cannot figure it out. War is always a tragedy. It's always atrocious. Is it a fight for freedom? Is it a fight for protection from oppression? Is it a fight for expansion? Empire building? It could be any of those things. I don't know. It's hard to get the information. And boy, you say the wrong thing. You're gone.
That's why I've never talked about it. Because I don't understand it enough to talk about it. Now, I pray for the people involved in it. I don't want it to continue. I hope it ends today. War is always a terrible thing. And you may not agree with the reasons we went into the Gulf War. You might not agree with what's going on in Ukraine and any U.S. involvement in that. But if a member of our military dies, they're fighting for you. Whether you agree with the underlying reason or not, they're fighting for their country. They don't have a choice. You know, a soldier can't say, uh, I don't really agree with this whole Afghan thing. I, I don't think we should be involved there, so I'm going to stay home. They don't get that choice. And they know that when they enlist. They have a fully volunteer military. And they know that they may be put into a conflict that they don't agree with. But they still give their life because they believe in our country. They believe in the ideals that this country was founded upon. So remember, when you're watching the news and you see some of the craziness going on today, and you see these wacko people that want to do things that just have never made sense and do not make sense and will not make sense, Remember the people that fought and died to protect their right to be wackos and your right to think that they're wackos. And realize what we paid to get the thing that they are trying to destroy. We paid for it with blood. Well, I hope this one recorded. Don't have any solid plans for this weekend. Um, didn't do much yesterday because of the rain. My back is feeling much better today. Yesterday it was still a little uh, wonky, so I couldn't do much. But today I, I'm pretty much normal. So I might, uh, I gotta get more wood in to finish my shelving project. I might go over to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick that up today. And uh, beyond that, I'm just going to do stuff. No big plans. I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday. If you're in the U.S., I hope you enjoy the Memorial Day holiday tomorrow. And you take a little bit of time to remember all the people that died, so that you can have that cookout. With that, friends, I'm going to call this to a close, let you all get back to your Sundays. So thank you very much for watching, and until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Good. Whoa. <laughs> Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.